back, guys. So our third and final beer that we were brewing today is going to be the uh, Santo Paulo Marron, which has an alcohol content of 12 percent on, on ABV, 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 yeah, ABV, 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 which is uh, up to date our strongest beer, right? Yeah, so far. Right, so, yeah, this particular brew is actually brewed by um, Dogfish Head Brewing Company, and um, it's a brown ale. Yeah, correct. Brown ale. Cool. Can you walk us through the ingredients, man? Um, actually, or how is brewed actually? Actually, it's brewed in a large wooden vessels made out of a palo. Palo Santo wood, and uh, so that's what, I guess what gives it the key, the key yeah. uh, taste. Yeah, so, it's kind of so for this one, we're actually gonna be using the uh, stem tulip glasses. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it's this basic tulip glass with a little stem at the bottom, hence the name. Okay. And for the pour, we will be tilting it, uh, pouring about halfway. Right. When we get halfway, we're gonna tilt it back up, straight, straight up. Uh, finish it, and what you want to aim for, it's about half an inch to an inch ahead. Okay. Because it's a really multi beer, so, so you don't want too much. Right. You don't want too much of that. It's malo. You don't want that, too much of that. Right, I want to watch you guys for a little bit, so. And then. Oh. Sip it. Wow. Wow, that's a really thick beer, so. Oh. What happened here? Oh, there's, uh, there's, 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 there's the half inch. That's my half inch right there. Yeah, there's a half inch right there. So. Uh, alright. All pressure's on RG. <laughs> Um, there you go, RG. There you go, gently. And nice. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So, so we get started on the beer. Um, let's go ahead and uh, look at the color, guys, real quick. There's a color. There's a. <laughs> well, oh, I wow. need. How do you describe dark abyss? We've had this before. <laughs> Can you remember this dark black hole of light that escape it? It's thick. It's man. thick, dude. Soy sauce is light compared to this. For it, the record, it, it does look like soy sauce. Yeah, it's thicker though. If you notice, I don't, you can't see probably too much in detail, but the pour itself is actually a pretty thick beer. It's thick, man. Pretty thick beer. Black. So you guys want to dive into the? Uh, we agree it's a dark beer, right? Yes, that's. Can't you guys want to dive into the aroma of the, of the yeah. beer? Yeah, it's cool. Let's go ahead and check out the it's aroma not, real quick. It's not brown. It's black. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Hey, what's going on? Can I go first on this one? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Oh, please do. <laughs> oh, I don't know how. I don't know how best to describe it, but. Tastes like if blood. You, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just yeah. kidding. If you if you swirl it just a little bit, it uh it immediately gives you that uh snow like rubbing off. It off. immediately. <laughs> Milli vanilla. Milli vanilla. It immediately, immediately gives you that smell of rubbing off. Yes, it does. I don't know how best to describe that. Yes, smell. yes it does. RG. He's sniffing that stuff really good. I agree. It's downright scary. Very enthusiastic. Thank you very much. There you go. So um yeah. <laughs> I would agree with you on the alcoholness of the beer. The aroma itself has a very pungent alcohol smell to it, but also there's a little hint of licorice in there that I also sent a little bit, like a little, you know that licorice kind of scent. Well, oh, um, you tripping? I don't know, probably. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I told me that this great beer, but like a little bit, of like yeah. the soy sauce. I'm saying. Yeah. It's weird, right. but it happens. You guys want to go into the uh, tasting? The tasting? I don't know if I want to, but yes, let's do this. All right, let's guys. go. Cheers. For the beer nuts. Those pills might be really good. Tip, tip for it. 12% alcohol content. Wow. Ah. Okay. Alan. Thank you. Ah. Alan! <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, ah, shoot. It has an uh, initial uh, chocolate taste to it. And, ah, man, I don't know how to best describe that background taste. Argy, I don't know if you can describe it for me, dude. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oh, okay. Strong. Um, chocolatey. I'm gonna describe it this way: like a like the cooking baking baking chocolate, the cocoa stuff like that you bake with, mm -hmm. kind of like your kind of. Cook. Man, those dark beers seem to have that taste. That's what I'm gonna go with. Yeah. Um, strong. Me, strong. Me, I would just say, stark beer, strong beer. A uh, li little hint of licorice. That was it. a background taste. That's it. I mean, really, you really can do it. It's just thick. It's not nothing in the heart. Yeah. Um, it's 12% alcohol, so. It's 12% alcohol content. Like right, the Eagles say, it is what it is. It is what it is, dude. All right, so what would you, how would you, what would you guys drink this particular brew? Where? Yeah. I would, I would drink it alone, pissed off. I don't, man, I don't know if I want to be around people and drink it. This is just like, lean against your you bottle. You want to embarrass something? yourself around people and they say some stuff that's inappropriate. Well, lean inappropriate. Lean, lean, lean against your bottle, Santo. Um, Oh shoot! Yeah, I, just, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's really dark beer. It's um, I don't think I want to eat anything with it. It's just so heavy. <sighs> well, yeah. I honestly would not. It's a great beer. I probably would not. It w I wouldn't reach for it. 
I'm gonna lie to you. I, would, I probably wouldn't. wouldn't nah, it's, I wouldn't call it a bar. If I would have a bar, I wouldn't. I, it wouldn't be my first pick. Honestly, I don't know what you're changing, but nah. like, as you, st- you so you said with the pairings and all that, so you wouldn't. You just wouldn't eat anything with it. Just go. Oh, if anything, maybe uh, spicy foods. Yeah, like, so well, like get, get yeah. Like chorizos or chorizo. Um, yeah, the spicy like chorizo, Cajun chorizo stuff like yeah. that. And, uh, anything spicy is gonna be strong enough to withstand this. Cool. It's a strong. What's beer. did you get? There was a combination on this, by, by any very, 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 very low. Very light. Very light. light. Like yeah, high combination. It's a malt beer, so it's brown ale. So, so I think enough. you know what, if you're a beer lover and you can handle this, go for it, man. Yeah. So, well, this was anything. Actually, first of all, any any final notes? Done. Strong beer. Cool. Paulo, uh, Paulo Santo, Santo, Santo Paulo Marron by. Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>